You won't believe this, but you can actually make your character fart in Fortnite with sound, smoke, and even a little push. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this hilarious effect in UEFN in just a few minutes. Let's learn how to make this effect, and at the end, I'll show you how to hook it up to a VFX device so it's linked to the player. First, you'll need a smoke sub UV texture. I'll leave the one I'm using available for free download on Google Drive. Once you've got it, import it into your project and create a new material by clicking this button. We're going to make a simple material just to use in the Niagara system in a bit. To find this node, just search for Particle Sub UV. And remember, for all the nodes I'm using in this material, you just need to right-click and search for them. Or, if you prefer, there are a few shortcuts I'll show you too. It's also good to know that for some nodes, you, you'll need to tweak a few parameters, but don't worry, I'll walk you through everything so you can make the exact same material. This part will make the material look a little animated, kind of like the smoke is moving around. Just a small touch. We'll also need to change a few settings in the main node. Just follow along with what I'm showing on screen. Once you're done, don't forget to save it, and you can go ahead and close the material. Now you need to import a fart sound. It has to be in WAV format because that's the one UEFN supports. Once you've opened the sound, you can also set up attenuation, which makes it so only players nearby can hear it. This part's optional, but it's a nice touch. If you want to add attenuation, you can just copy the same settings I used for my sound effect. Then just add the attenuation to your sound, and that's it. It'll already be working. To test it, once the effect is done, just walk away from it and you'll notice the sound fades out. Now it's time to start building our visual effect. It'll be super simple. We're only going to use four modules. First, right-click and choose a template effect. I went with the fountain template. When you open it, you'll see something like this. Particles shooting up from a single point. But we're going to tweak a few things to make it look more like a fart effect. If there's anything in the module that you don't need, just delete or disable it. And if there's something missing, just hit the little plus button to add it. These are all small changes, but make sure to pay close attention so your effect ends up just like mine. Every time you see me selecting something, that means I'm changing it. So pay close attention to make sure yours looks like mine. Anytime you see a small graph, you can actually select a preset at the top to make the graph adjust automatically. Right below it, there are two main parameters you can tweak. The first is the time where the keyframe sits in the animation, and the second is how much it influences the effect. At the end of the module, make sure to replace the default sprite with the material we created earlier. To do this, simply drag the material we created into this area. A little further down, we also need to change these settings to 8x8, since our image has 8 columns and 8 rows of sprites. Once you have everything set up, simply right-click, choose Copy, and paste it next to the original. This way, we don't have to redo everything from scratch. We can just adjust what is necessary. Now, for the second effect, you just need to drag the imported audio into this part. And now just keep doing the same thing, only change what's necessary. And while I'm showing you a few settings you'll need to tweak, I just want to remind you that this VFX is available on my Patreon. When you get it, it'll be fully optimized and come with a few parameters, like color changes and particle amount, so you can decide if you want a stronger or lighter fart. While you're copying the settings to make this effect, drop a comment and let me know what effects you'd like to see next on the channel. In this part with the curves, just copy the two values and compare them to make sure your effect curve looks the same as mine. Here are the final touches for this effect. These are the particles that show up with the fart. Keep copying the last two emitters. I'll be right back while you do that. Once you're done setting everything up, don't forget to save it. 
Now for the final step, look for the VFX power-up device. This is what lets you attach the effect to the player. I use the remote control so the player can activate the effect. Since it only plays once, I set the duration to 2 seconds. Every time the player uses the remote control, it's basically triggering the effect, like they're walking over the VFX power-up. I attach the effect to the player's pelvis. And now you can finally run around the map farting as much as you want. Hope you enjoyed the video and your like and subscription mean a lot to me. See you in the next one.